What is going on guys? How are we all doing? Welcome to yet another match day experience on the channel. Today is the third in four days, I believe, off to Warminster Town tonight for their game against Wellington in the Western League uh, Division 1. So step 10 um, in the football pyramid, as low as I've ever been. <clears throat> Looking forward to it. It's my third ground, as I say, third ground in the week. And third as part of my charity challenge for Prostate Cancer UK. Um, if you want any more information on that, because I have been saying it for the last couple of videos, if you want any more information, links in the description to my Just Giving page. So please do go and donate if you've got any spare change. Um, any money is really, it means the world to me, to be honest. A raise of £700 so far, so let's keep it going. Um, yeah, I'm just leaving work now. Um, and yeah, might stop off at a couple of local grounds as well on the way and do a bit of exploring, because I've got plenty of time. So yeah, let's go. And also, on another note, my boy Ellis, he's on bloody Portuguese news now. I'm sure most of you have seen, um, but the guys, he's, he's Cristiano Ronaldo famous now in, in Porto's eyes, all over the bloody place. Good work. Would it be Spurs to win the league? Oh, the Chelsea, of course. Right, um, my kids are Chelsea fans, both of them. So you want both of them? They've got Chelsea. They've got Chelsea. closed off ain't it I don't actually know how widely used this ground is anymore because Trowbridge aren't in the top 10 leagues in the in um, in Britain so I don't actually know where they are really I did try and find them on Google but they couldn't really find them at all maybe go there one day Question is, is it possible to come to Morrison's when you're starving on a diet and get a healthy snack? Somehow I think not. I think I did pretty well there. Three quid meal deal. Medium salad bowl. Bit of coleslaw, but we'll gloss over that. Some skinny popcorn. And a Coke Zero. Starving. Arrived at Warminster for their game against Wellington. Six quid to get in with the programme. It's fairly standard for this level. Don't think you're going to find it much cheaper than that. The trouble I find with non-league at the moment is I pay student prices at Football League and those kind of places and then none of them down these levels have student prices so I end up paying fairly similar for non-league. It's what I do in the Football League. So I'm paying seven quid for Cheltenham against Grimsby and six pound for a step 10 game which it's pretty mad to get your head round, but that's how it is. Must admit, I must admit, I do like the ground. I really like the view that you can actually get over there, <clears throat> which you don't tend to get around in Bristol very often. But sort of around, if you go further, sort of towards the south through Bath, obviously into Warminster, Salisbury, those kinds of areas, you can get some really good views from ground. And this is certainly one of them. And then you've got the... <laughs> like, this is kind of the place I used to play at when I was younger, when you've got the fences protecting little, little Betty's back garden and, and the back of her house behind the football pitch. Sign him up. Terrasons occupied around here. I would take up my normal swap behind the goal, but it stinks of dog shit. Halfway line it is. Stand up, 
And it's one 0 it's been coming. Wellington on top. Come on, come on. <clears throat> I think if they win they'll be back top of the league ahead of Hengrove, I think it is. Yeah. Just been spending my time reading quite a hilarious uh, feed on a Facebook group about ground hoppers basically bitching about them taking other people's tickets. Other people's tickets. It's basically someone getting a bit angry because someone had got a Champions League final ticket saying that they should be to the fans of the clubs that are there, which I agree with, but it's a general sale ballot, so there's no argument about the fans going there. It's just narrow-minded people. <clears throat> oh, I think it's miles off, Wellington absolutely dominating this game though, bloody good side. All their players seem to be running at sort of 50 miles an hour. By the looks of their league position they can keep it up all game as well, so hopefully some more goals. Ooh. I have to watch that back because I have no idea how he scored that. But it's 1 1, just for half time, I think. Half time. 1-0, one no 1-1, one, one. decent game to be fair, and a fairly decent attendance, I reckon there's a good 60-ish maybe, maybe a bit more, which at this level is pretty pretty good compared to Brisbane and last night in the division above with probably 15-20 yesterday. <laughs> Lucky boy. Thank <laughs> you. 
Absolute scream, I don't think I got it. I think so. You don't think so? So that brings to an end another match day experience. It's finished 3 1 to Wellington. So they're back to the top of the league, I believe. Um, bloody freezing. Why didn't I bring some gloves? So yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed. Um, if you have, please do leave a like. If you get over 200 likes, that'd be really good. Next game is on Friday Bishop Sutton against. Old Navatonians on Friday night. Um, I don't know where they, the Lakeview, I think it might be. Um, and yeah, and then so three games to look forward to this weekend. So a really busy first week of the challenge. As I say, if you've enjoyed, please do leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on Friday night. Take care.